Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. So, I mentioned previously that I was going to watch the 2013 Riddick film, and I did last night. It was actually... it was okay. It wasn't great. It definitely wasn't great, but you know what it is, it's just, it's a schlocky, like, B sort of action movie. It's completely ridiculous. But if you're looking for a fun time, and a bit of nonsense, you know, it's a decent time. I enjoyed it. It's really silly. Definitely one to kind of... It's like a popcorn flick, you know, get the popcorn out, laugh at it. It's really ridiculous. But I kind of love it. Kind of just like this game. You know, as I've been playing this, I'm about, what, five hours in, I think, at this point? I'm realizing that it's not really as good as I remember it being. I remember it being really good. And the truth is, this game is not. It's not. It's... It's decent. It's pretty good. It's definitely charming. But it's also definitely not as good as I remember it. But, I don't know, there's just, there's just something fun about Riddick. And his ridiculous... Basically invulnerable character. And his absurdly gravelly voice. And his dumb one-liners. I kind of love him. You know what I'd really like? I'd like some sort of a relaxation tape with Vin Diesel's voice doing the Riddick character of just him singing lullabies or something and just use that to drift off to sleep. Ah. Sing me a lullaby, Riddick. Oh. I think I missed the shotgun before, didn't I? Alright, well I've got Granadas. And some shotgun rounds. <laughs> shotgun rounds. And a shotgun gun. I suppose uh, a gun is nice. If I just had shotgun rounds, that wouldn't be terribly useful. I suppose if I, I could hit them with a hammer, maybe, but that might blow up my hand. Alright, let's see if I can kill this thing or if I'm supposed to run away from it. Come on, motherfucker! Next gen dismemberment. One round left. Here's a question for the gun enthusiasts out there, or anybody that just knows. Alright, if you have a pistol or something like that, you have a magazine, right? What do you fill a shotgun up with, you know? Like, if you have a full... a full what? This thing doesn't use magazines, does it? No, oh, no, it does use magazines. Okay, never mind. It does use magazines. But, you know, for like a shotgun where you load it shell by shell, what do you call that when it's full? You know, I've got a full... It's not a magazine. It's not a clip. It, it, It's full. As far as I know, there isn't a term for it. And that bothers me a lot. Uh... Hello, little ones. I guess you could say this man couldn't keep his head under pressure. Fuck off. Probably climb up there, I think. Maybe, but let's see what's in here. That answers that. You know, I think these things might actually be infinitely coming. <laughs> they just run down there and now they don't know how to get back up. They did. 
Next Gen AI. that come from? Oh. Boom! What? Okay. Magical Riddick. I guess I wasn't only given the powers to uh, see in the dark, also the powers to phase through walls. These little creatures actually kind of remind me of the creatures from Riddick. The ones with like the the stinger tails. Always in the water. A little bit. They're they're definitely not the same, but somewhat familiar. They're fast. And they do have the stinging tails. Haven't seen any dingo dongos yet though. Tool room key. I don't even know where the tool room is. Can I? Oh, I can go across that, can't I? I think I can. Mm hmm. <laughs> you know what's really weird about these sections? I'm used to pressing the key. I'm used to movement keys being in the relative to the camera, meaning Oh shit, am I going to get attacked? Apparently not. Anyway, yeah, I'm used to movement keys being relative to the camera, not to the character, meaning here, my natural inclination is to press the right arrow key. You just killed yourself, you idiot. Because to move to the right, you know, from the camera's perspective, means you press the right arrow key. But no, actually, if you press the right arrow key, it does nothing. You have to press forwards. For some reason, the movement during these sections is relative to the character. Very strange. Alright, so I'm back here again. So obviously I need to use this key somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Where the hell's a locked door? That's where I came from, so it's obviously not here, right? No way. Here we go. I 
It sounds like one of them just exploded. Oh yeah, grenades! I totally forgot I had them. Why would I want to use them here, though? I have no reason to use them. They attack so fast, trying to throw a grenade would just be dumb. It's like, yay! An explosive went off ten feet behind them. Good job. Five gigawatts! What the... Convoluted pathway to take. Hmm. It says I can use it, but I'm not... I can't actually use it. I don't think I have a cell to recharge. What would I... What am I even trying to recharge? Oh. Wait, can I get up there? Might be able to. Yes, I can. Is it secrets? Does this thing explode on contact? That or it's got a fuse of about 0 0.2 seconds. Am I not supposed to go in there? I guess I'm not. Oh yeah, I got the power cell. I guess I'll just go back. So this is actually really clever. Look at this. So I've just gotten a weapon, but... The screen on it is actually smashed. So it doesn't display my ammo. So if I want to check my ammo, I have to check here. That just only shows my total ammo, not the amount that's actually in this magazine. That's really clever. It doesn't make a huge difference to the game, but it's just a little bit of extra tension in kind of a horror... A horror-themed section, because you don't quite know how much is in your magazine. It's really cool. This game does some cool stuff. I've got to admit, I don't actually know why I charged that. What the hell am I doing with it? What's my mission? Put the power cell in the drill and start it up. Uh... What drill? Huh? Hold on, is there a map? What drill? 
I don't remember a drill. I'm just gonna hope to God that I'm going the right way and continue on. Let's see if I do this twice like I did last time. Come on, come on, do it twice. Aww. Alright, that's new. Whoa! Threw a grenade over his head and then got stuck in a corner. Oh, I tried to run around him, but I, I did get stuck. really know if I want to use grenades. Uh, I suppose I should. Let's put this thing to work, huh? Did I exploderize it? Yes, I did. Okay. Whew. I knew those grenades were good for something. Now it's time to be the most badass dentist ever. Or maybe I'm just gonna press the button and the thing's gonna take off. That wasn't exactly how I imagined it, but okay. You little fucker. Little piece of shit. I kind of half tried to do an accent there, and then I just stopped. So it just sounded like shit. Knew there'd be something up here. I'm just gonna watch this guy. I believe in you, man. Come on, you can do it. Why are you meleeing when you have a gun? There you go. There you go.
Shit, I need some healing. I think I need to climb. Ah, so close! Uh, can I... Oh, can I do this? Oh, there we go. Um, hi. Motherfucker. Man, these alien encounters, like, this is... It's almost as scary as alien. Like, this is a classic. I'm shaking in my boots. You know what I just realized this gun feels a lot like? somewhere where it's better lit. There we go. For some reason, to me, this gun feels a lot like the pistol from, uh, Doom 3. I don't know how much it actually looks or, you know, sounds like it, but... Is this similar to the Doom 3 pistol? Because for some reason it feels like it. Which is kind of a weird thing to say, because I only played through Doom 3 once, didn't really care for it that much, and I barely ever used the pistol, but for some reason that just came to mind. Are you okay down there? Alright, here's the real test. Is there falling damage? There's no falling damage. Why even use the ladders? It's just a waste of time. Oh, shit. Oh, perfect. There we go. I might not even need to shoot that thing. I don't think it can get up here. And it certainly can't walk to me because it's stuck. I 
wonder if, oh, I'm thinking the little pocket at its back is maybe a weak point. It's like a marsupial. Blam, blam! I wish you could hold this pistol gangster style. For extra cool points. Alright, this thing blows. At least, here it does. It's very accurate, good at range. Alright, before I go that way, what's this way? Wait a minute, I can take the miniguns? Holy shit! Yes! Okay, it takes like two seconds to spin up and there's no ammo counter. And it doesn't feel nearly as strong and awesome as it should, but, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna drop it. There's, there's nothing this way. This is a full evacuation. Oh shit! Maybe I do want a minigun. Did it just... Oh, I thought it ran out of ammo. Oh, I'm so slow. Make it through. I'm pretty sure that enemy just spawn. I actually want to watch it spawn. Does it just, like, spawn at the light? Oh, no, it just walks out into midair. Okay. Now I understand. Go. Go. Excuse me, please don't attack me. I'm getting healed right now. Wait a minute, they're, they're invincible from the front, aren't they? So there's no point in even shooting them with a the minigun? Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bright. Take a fresh one, thank you. Fuck you, turret things! Fuck. Hold on, hold, fuck this thing. It's too slow. I can't move that slow. I don't think that soldier and I have the same definition of have him now. Wait, where do I go? Oh, this is just a place to heal?
Wait, did I come from the elevator from... Shit, I don't even remember. I'm not sure if I came from here or the elevator. It ha and it happened like two seconds ago. No, I did come from an elevator, just a different one. Even though it looks exactly the same from the inside. Confuse me for a second. Stupid-ass turrets are shooting at me from somewhere. Thankfully, they're not actually hitting me. Hey, it's the Half-Life 1 elevator! It's the Half-Life 1 elevator! I'm not gonna get attacked by waves of headcrabs, am I? Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> or maybe not. Oh, shit. It's one of those. Now I wish I had a couple Grenadas. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> actually just took out everyone. Or oh, maybe not. Huh? Where, where was that? Somebody was shooting at me for a second. Oh! It's really not worth it to try to snipe enemies in the head. You just get hurt too much in the process. Another permanent health upgrade, thank you. I'm hoping it restores me to full health as well. Okay, it does, sweet.
Oh shit. Grenade! Blew up either himself or a teammate if it was thrown by somebody else. Blew up himself. Good job. Four transport ships remaining. Oh, this thing's a prototype rifle. That's why it seems to be so shitty. Yeah, I was wondering why I couldn't seem to pick up the ammo from their rifles. It's because I've actually got a different gun, technically. It's very similar, but it doesn't seem to hold as much ammo. How the hell do you- oh, it's one of those handrail things. Do I actually need health? No. Is there anything else up there? A cartridge? I've already got one. I don't really care that much. Half-Life 1 elevator number 2. If we get one more, do you know what that means? I bet you do. Confirmed. You know, if you want to set a trap, it's probably best not to shout at the person who's about to come through the door and say, DIE NOW! That's it. That was the trap, was one jackass screaming in an empty room. Uh, I maybe shouldn't have done that. Actually, I think I had to. Yeah, because there's nowhere else to go. Shit.
shit. Wait, does this actually open up? No, it doesn't. Shit, where do I go? Oh, and there's another one. Oh! Wait, is it... Does this one open? Okay, this one opens. What the fuck? Nope. Do I actually want a minigun? It's gonna make my movement speed shit. I don't think I do. What the fuck? Okay, it's a boss fight. I'm not sure shooting the lights is going to be terribly effective. Pretty sure it's not. It. Gigantic ass dumb robot. Is this gonna work? Am I supposed to get to the ship room there? Probably to the ship. my grenades. Shit. There's nothing I can do here. Come on. There we go. It's the best I'm gonna get from that. Pew.
Pew! I missed. Oh, come on. This thing is so inaccurate. for comfort there, my friend. Come on, headshot. Turn one way and stay that way. But he won't. All right, maybe this will work. On track? I mean, you're not open, that's right, Riddick. Okay, stupid question. We'll be fine in a minute. Sit down and stay out of my way. Sure. Sure, Riddick. You're always trying to ruin my paydays, Riddick. Oxy is bound to give me more than 22% after this. Now, come on, let's go. Good. I've had worse. I thought this was going to be the day, Riddick. The day one of us kills the other. 
The day is not over yet. You're lucky to be alive, Johns. And you, Riddick. Well, your luck has just run out. Since you are a little too, uh, volatile to keep in the general population, I'm putting you in cold storage. I could use the rest. Give my ribs time to heal. Only if Jagger would be in a better shot, you'd... You'd be dead. And I'd be off this rock. So we both lose. Isn't that the way with us, Johns? Lose? What are you talking about? What's he talking about? I said you were lucky to be alive, Johns. But luck can be fleeting. Riddick has already cost me plenty. Far more than you're worth, to be honest. I'm just getting started, Hoxie. Yes, I was afraid of that. That's why I'm having you put into cryosleep. Pleasant dreams, Riddick. Storage for cons. Hell on cryo sleep ice. Your mandatory two minutes of daily exercise begins now. According to law number 88432-337B, this is your right as a guilt prisoner and your only right. A proposition to abolish law number 88432-337B is currently pending. Today is Monday. I love this section of the game, it's so cool. Remember these words of wisdom. Treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. Creepy. Ocean flow, tree sunset? What the hell? <laughs> you can experience different sounds as you get here. No, no. Your two minutes of daily exercise begins now. This exercise appointment will be shared by multiple prisoners. All contact is forbidden. I get to socialize, except I don't, apparently. Well, his time's up. this cryo box, I think. I think it said I could, right? It did a second ago. Today is Wednesday. Remember these words of wisdom. Never let life's hardships disturb you. After all, no one can avoid problems, not even saints or sages. I think perhaps I'm supposed to enter it. Oh crap. It just keeps going in a loop again and again. Alright, let me see if I can enter. There we go. Well, 
machines are not very smart. I just love the art direction of this whole section. Uh, no! It's just so cool looking, isn't it? Everything's so glossy. Oh, what the uh, fuck? Fuck you! We have a possible security breach in the cryo pyramids level 3. Uh oh. Report all unscheduled activity immediately. It's just so cool, isn't it? The freaking cryo pyramids? It's awesome. You can just feel the cold. And the miserableness of this wretched existence of just having a couple minutes exercise each day. Oh, shit. They're coming. Jesus, they shoot rockets! They're shooting rockets at these pods that are holding people currently. It's a little bit dangerous. I think it's probably gonna see me. Wait, where do I go? I'm pretty sure all these doors are locked. Let's get this little fucker. I don't think there's anything I can pick up from here, is there? A weapon of some sort? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Okay, that helps a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be taking out any robots anytime soon with this, though. So, a robot walks into a club. Wait a minute. Maybe I need to get them to shoot a rocket. At something. Oh, wait, maybe this door opens. It's green. I saw the red light above it and assumed I couldn't enter it. Shit.
Oh shit. Oh, going to sleep. Okay. I'm assuming this won't be a problem until that uh, gate opens. Attention. Unscheduled presence reported. Please investigate uh -oh. immediately. Ah, the lighting here is so cool, isn't it? It's awesome. Shit. Alright, he's reloading. Go, go. Okay. Got something to work with. Got some health, got a gun. It's a start. You have been served by Nanoman Plus, Hoxy Anniversary Edition. Oh god, now I've got to get past him. Okay, I can do this. Okay, how am I going to get past them? That is perhaps not a very good way. I don't think it's going to work. I feel like this is not going to work. I feel like this is not going to work. Oh, it's not going to work. <laughs> Obviously can't kill them, can I? With a pistol? Pretty sure I can't. Also, I feel like I have an eyelash in my eye. Uh... Damn it. Feels like it's there, but I'm not quite sure. Fuck. That's gonna drive me nuts. Where did I come from? 
Both ends of this hallway are exactly the same. Same light, same tunnel, same everything. Where, where's shit? Alright, came from here. Oh no, I'm going to have to do this section again. That is going to be painful. Okay, what what can I do? I could piss them off and then drop back down the hole and hope that they come closer. I mean, what the hell else do I do? Security doors opened at unscheduled time. Notifying system. Maybe I don't go that way. Maybe I go the opposite way. I don't actually know what's back. Back there. Shotgun. I don't see anything that way. I mean, I could go to the left. But that's where I came from. I don't know. Uh, let's try going left. They're not going to come through that, are they? Well, shit, what's the point of me even being here? I opened that for a reason. Jesus. Oh, wait a minute, did you just blow up one of the other ones? With an explosive? Idiot. Wait, I can blow them up with, like, half a magazine of a pistol? What? That is completely inconsistent, so those suit things can't be shot from the front with a normal rifle or shotgun or anything like that, but these can be killed with a pistol. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Glowy cubes. The future. Whoa, what is this? I could watch this all day. How do I avoid waking these things up? What was that noise? Oh, I think there's a new information thing. What's the new information? You could perhaps enter and use a heavy guard. Oh, shit! Well, not these two, apparently. Aha! Uh -huh. You have 
been served by Nanomed Plus. Oxy anniversary. Hello. <laughs> I might have to cash in on that warranty. also features a great climate system for rough off-world battles. And don't forget the included 100,000 steps free service. Consult the accompanying service pack for details. We at Silos Corporation are proud to bring you the finest in battle. I think this thing is going to make me motion sick, but it's pretty fucking awesome. Oh yeah, it's got rockets. I think I just hurt myself. Whoops. Understood. Let's go. Thank you very much. A heavy guard has been hijacked. Evacuate immediately. God, I feel sick. Oh my God, come on, gun. Wow. For me, an absolute badass, this thing is surprisingly shitty at killing people. Also, I love how it's destroying the tiles as you go. Look at this, it's awesome. Okay, interesting. Do I actually have ammunition? Because I don't see it. Alright, I'll try walking over him. Oh, fuck that, they're doing a lot of damage to me. Why does it take like 50 shots to the crotch to kill these guys? It's a lame ass minigun.
Yeah, I have some serious disagreements with the suggested operating procedures from the suit. It said walk over minor organic targets. Bullshit, they do a shit ton of damage to me. Gotta wait for my hole to regen a bit. Fuck you too. Ooh, that looks like a boss arena. I should probably wait until I fully regen to go in there. Stomp around for a bit. Come on, regen. I'm sure the last quick save was from like 20 minutes ago. Alright, good enough. Let's prep the battlefield a little bit. Actually, I can't even use my special eyes when I'm inside of this, so it doesn't even matter. And it wasn't even a boss arena. Oh well. I'm almost certain I have unlimited ammunition, so I really don't see the point in conserving my ammo. There's nothing to conserve. Dropped my weapons when I got inside of the suit. Okay. Oh shit! Oh, I can't get back in. Okay then. No weapons, no suit. Slow motion cuts. Where am I going? Did you bring a parachute? Come on, prisoner. Give up. Ready, get in. Here we go. 
Well, that's convenient. How's the back? It's been better. I'm taking you to another slam, Riddick. We're getting out of Butcher Bay together. That'll teach Hoxie to fuck with me. Now you're learning, Johns. I even stiffed the bastard on the med fees. And you know the drill. John's dead. Not alive. Riddick. What do you give me for him anyway, Hawks? We'll work a deal, Riddick. John's for you. Straight up. Anything. Anything. Just tell me what you want, Riddick, and I'll make it happen. <sighs> I wanted to be left alone. Let me give you some advice, Riddick. When you make a threat, be prepared to back it up. I'll give you a lot. Uh, what? Okay, blinked out of existence. They can go invisible. I'm not doing too well. Shit, I'm about to die. There we go. Something. Uh, the codes to your ship. Shit, Riddick. You wouldn't. Wouldn't what? What wouldn't I do, Hoxie? Uh, oh, well, of course. The, the, the codes are in my desk. Um, and. The, Can you walk, Johns? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Run? <laughs> Maybe. But I wouldn't try to find out. Ah, Good. How's your eyesight? Shit, I thought you said landings were. 
There we go. The tale of Riddick, the indestructible badass that spouts ridiculous one-liners. It's a silly game, but it's a good time. I'm trying to think of whether I want to do a little summary here or do a separate video about it. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll do a separate video about it, yeah. Alright. So, I just want to say thank you for coming along with me and joining me for the Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, and thank you for watching.